Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to talk about some of the things that I am currently using in my day-to-day -day life to assist me with losing weight. So if you guys are excited about it, stay tuned. butterflies let's jump in I have a list so I can stay on track y'all know I can get a little talkative but I want to make sure that I get all of this stuff out to you guys so you know you can pick and choose what you want to use hopefully it will help you and you know we can go from there all so, right one of the things that I use on a daily basis I use apple cider vinegar I use the Bragg's um, brand with the mother I do two tablespoons per day. Um, everyone, I think all of you guys know that I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I'm not on medication. I think my doctor's allowing me time to actually try to get some of this weight off. And I also shared in the last video that one of my best friends sent me a picture of all of his diabetic supplies. Now, <laughs> The only thing I see on that picture is the needle. I am scared to death of them. And so he and I have been running from diabetes forever. We both were like, oh, okay, you know, we're going to change. We're going to change. We're gonna... Yeah. And he got caught. So he sent me the picture. So I didn't get caught. And so I have them in my, I have the picture in my bathroom, in my bedroom, on my refrigerator. And bottom line is I'm doing any and everything I can possibly do to stop ever getting diabetes, okay? He's working really, really hard to hopefully reverse his. So we're going to see. He's doing really well. He um, texted me this morning and said that he was walking. And so I'm real proud of him. All right. So that's apple cider vinegar. If you guys feel your sugar going up, um... Honestly, I can tell exactly when my sugar is spiked and I take two tablespoons of this. I take two tablespoons, period, every morning, but I honestly can feel my sugar go back down. Um, I sent him, he told, sent me a text the other day and I think it was like 2.12 and when he took it that morning, he dumped, drunk two tablespoons diluted. I don't drink mine diluted. I just take mine in shots and then I drink water behind it and brush my teeth. But, you know, to each his own. Um, I do know about the enamel and all of that stuff. I just, you know, take precautions because I just literally throw it in the back of my throat, take it like a shot and keep it moving. Um, but it went down to 118. His insulin level went down to 118. So I tell... I believe in this. I, I don't know if anybody else does, but I truly do believe in this. Um, it It's, you know, got research for cancer, uh, reducing the risk of cancer, um, your digestive system, your any kind of diabetes and assisting with that. I'm not telling anybody. First of all, let me go back. I am not anything that is professional with this here. This is my stuff, y'all. Do only do what you want to do. Check with your doctor, please. I am begging you. This is what has worked for me thus far. It has nothing to do with the medical. You know, there is research with different things that I'm talking about. But the bottom line is I want you guys to do your due diligence. Now, don't come back here hollering about Pam. No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> so anyway, this is this. Okay. The next thing that I do on a daily basis is I do two tablespoons of lemon water. I do it hot. Uh, I just prefer it to be hot. I don't put anything else in it. And so this is great value, which is Walmart's brand. I don't do, you know, anything added. I used to, and I'll tell you about that in a minute because I do intermittent fasting and I was putting other things in there and didn't did not realize I was breaking my fast. <laughs> So, thanks CNC TV, <laughs> Crystal said, you know, she made a reference to the honey and cayenne pepper and all of the calories. And I think you can stay in fasting mode as long as you don't go over 50 calories with intermittent fasting. 
and I was going over there and I was breaking my fast and didn't even know it, child. But anyway, I do two tablespoons of this a day with hot water for my digestion and it works. All right, so this is some other things. We're talking about things that I actually digest, okay? So this is Timmy T. Let you see it. It is the colon cleanser. I had seen Timmy T around on YouTube channels, but Crystal, <laughs> Crystal has no idea who I am, y'all. I'm just telling y'all. But Crystal from CNC TV, I promise you, she was talking about this. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. Yeah, it works. It, I, I will be very honest. It is not something that you have to urgently find a bathroom, but I do suggest that you have a bathroom around you. Usually it's that first, let's just say movement. <laughs> That first movement is very powerful. That's the word we're going to use. Powerful, and it got a punch to it. <laughs> but you don't cramp. You don't do anything like that. And I forget and take mine later in the evening. And I still, about 8 o'clock that morning, you know, it'll start to going. <laughs> so I love the Timmy T. Um, while we're on hiatus with everything being shut down, I'm working from home, so I'm definitely doing this every other night. Um, I do eight ounces. It does not. That's the only thing that I don't like. It does not tell you how many ounces to use on the bag, but I do eight ounces. And I. it says on the bag to steep from one to three minutes, and I steep for ten minutes. Uh, I just need that extra bang for me. Uh, and, and one, because I know that. I'm a heavier girl, and so I need a little bit more impact than normal. So that's what I have. All right? So let me talk a little bit about intermittent fasting. I love intermittent fasting. Um, I was like the rest of the world and thought about, you know, you were supposed to have breakfast. But breakfast is break fast. It does not matter what you eat. Now, I'm saying whether it's lunch or if it's uh, lunch food or it's breakfast food, what we technically call those things like eggs in the morning, or if we have a sandwich or a salad in the, you know, in the afternoon, that's not what really matters. You want to eat healthy. I will always tell people to try to eat healthy, but it doesn't have anything to do with the time as far as breakfast is concerned. It means break your fast. That's what it means makes sense to me so i eat from 12 to 8 12 p.m to 8 p.m um one because i go into the daycares and by the time i come out then i'm able to go ahead and eat now you can do an 8 16 a 16 8 wait a minute yeah <laughs> 16 fasting, 8 hours eating, um, 18 hours fasting, 6 hour window. Um, some people do a 24, so 20 hours of fasting, 4 hours of eating. And then you have the, I think the other popular one is 5 days on um, eating and then 2 days of fasting. So, um, I the the 18 excuse me the 16 8 has worked for me that's what i do um if i ever get stalled maybe i'll look at one of the other ones but this is what i do right now so let me go over to why and how i intermittent fast because i found myself wanting to do the intermittent fasting but trying to get back because my commute is about an hour there and an hour back home because I work from home in the afternoon. So, where was I going? To places, honestly, that I normally wouldn't go, drive through. Now, I told y'all, I do eat out. But I want a sit-down meal where I can cut it in half and bring the other half. And make my mind think that I got me a bargain because I got another meal for the next day. <laughs> so, that fast food and, you know, hit it, quit it, that's not my thing. But I was seeing myself go through the drive through and that's a no-no. Let me show you what I started using. Can you guys see that? 
So these are called bento boxes. There's a glare. Sorry, guys. But this one has three compartments. And I started doing, um, looking at bento boxes. All right, so I started looking online for different items that would I would enjoy that were finger foods that I could pick up and eat while I was driving. So um, I started watching Mind Over Munch and Clean and Delicious. And I love both of them. They have really good things that I could actually just you know, add into my little bento box. I could pick them up, be able to eat them as I'm driving back home, and that would allow me to bypass that doggone drive through. Because I promise y'all, I was like, this is too much for me. One, it was hitting my finances, which I know I'm doing Dave, so that was a no no. And then it was hitting my behind, because the pounds were packing on. That's a no no too. Mama was tied. Of doing that you would hit me in my pocket and in my hips that's too much we had to stop <laughs> we had to stop the other thing that I started doing was uh, preparing on Sunday now uh, certain things okay let me just break it down the only thing my household eat shrimp um, will eat like imitation crab will eat um, uh, what is those things? Crab cakes, um, salmon, tilapia, ground turkey, and only the flats from Kroger. The flat chicken wings. We don't eat the drumsticks. Everybody in my house eat, whole eats the flats. I have paid $17, almost $18 a bag for all flats because it's, it's going to go to waste. I don't know what's going to go on with us being on lockdown and these you know, not being able to supply, diff, you know, this whole supply and demand with food. And let me tell y'all, my Walmart pickup is not available for the next seven days. Now, whether or not they have canceled it or everybody done took up the slots, I don't know. But I am not a happy camper that I've got to go into these stores. Not happy. I'm not happy. But I'm going to have to do it because we don't ran out of milk <laughs> and butter and everything else. So... We got stuff in the deep freezer, but you know, the little stuff that you would, yeah, I gotta, I gotta re-up on that. So I'm gonna have to go into stores. I'm not happy. Um, so let me show you some of my storage. So I got these, these are glass. I wanted to go from like the little Rubbermaid and stuff that you get at Walmart during the Christmas, you know, Black Friday and up my game and go to the glass. Now. Honestly, y'all, I don't know how I feel about this. The seal is not as good as I would want it to be. Um, it, it does seal. It keeps the stuff, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But it was a, like um, a 20-piece for maybe $45. Different sizes. It wasn't bad. Um, I don't know, y'all. It just, no, actually, the seal is on there. I think it's me. So I got these. And I meal prep on Sunday. These are another one that I got. But I actually like these better because I can hear. Let me see if y'all can hear this. This is a plastic, but it's a it's almost like a different kind of plastic. But when you hear this, let me see. Alright, so I'm gonna lock it and then unlock it. See that makes me think you sealed. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me just seem like it's more secure, but it is plastic, and I was trying to get away from plastic, but, you know, these came with a set of six, no, set of five, and they were like $15. I'll link everything down below, um, but yeah, that's other things that have helped me, measuring spoons and cups, okay? I have the collapsible measuring spoon. No cups, sorry. The collapsible ones, as you can see. One just for space saving. Um, so it comes with everything, I think, from one third all the way up. Um, so one third, one, one fourth, one third, um, three fourths, one half, and a cup. And I did not say those in order, so forgive me. And then I have this. This one I've 
you know, moved over to my area that where my um, electric tea kettle is so that I could uh, go ahead and measure out my apple cider vinegar and my lemon juice and it has worked perfectly to be able to have that close by so I don't have to look for anything. I rinse it off. I put it back in the same little container because I promise you if my kids see it somehow it will be gone so I just leave it in the same space. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys about my water. Now this is my water. This was given to me by Tanisha. Thank you, Tanisha. See, it's called TAs. It says TAs are like unicorns. They make magic happen. I love this cup. So this is about 20 ounces. Um, I actually drink this while I'm in the centers, um, in the daycare centers. And then I have this puppy that I got from Home Depot. There you go. And this is 64 ounces. So I fill this up before I leave to go to work. It's insulated, it stays cold. Um, and I've got a little hook on my um, other seat, my passenger side seat where I can hang this up and so it doesn't bounce all around. And I think they use them for like pocketbooks or baby bags and stuff, but I use it for this. And so I fill this up and this is my gauge that I've at least got a half a gallon of water per day. Do I want to get to a gallon? I retain water a lot, so I, I'm, I'm trying to find a happy medium, but at least I've got a half a gallon. Um, some people say a gallon. Some people say half of your body weight. Child, if I do half of my body weight, I'm going to be swimming in water. So probably don't want to do that. <laughs> so there you go. So some of the other tools that I have. Now, I, I'm going to be honest. I got this from my friend Crystal. She doesn't know we're friends. <laughs> And CNC TV. I got this. This is a scale, y'all. This is the cutest thing that I have ever seen in my entire life. It is so lightweight, y'all. It is so lightweight. But I had another scale that had the actual dish that was attached to it. And I guess it had already decided that, you know, how much that dish weighed. But just to have to wash one more thing, I just didn't use it. I'm gonna be honest. This right here, it has that it has that breakaway thing where you can put your bowl in, uh, your bowl or, or plate or whatever you're using on here first. You turn it on, you turn it to ounces. It's got ounces, um, milligrams, it's got grams. Yeah, it's got all, all the different weights. weights. You would put your item that you're going to put your food in and you would put it on there empty then you would hit the what's called the breakaway. I think it's called breakaway. If I'm wrong, please forgive me. But you hit the button and then it takes the weight of that item out of the, you know, the actual calculation. So it wipes it zero and then you put your food on there so you know exactly if you need two grams or if you need four ounces or whatever. Best thing in the world. Thank you, Crystal. Y'all, Crystal's going to know who I am. I really need to inbox her and just tell her thank you for everything she's done, but I don't know. I ain't gotten up the courage. <laughs> I just love her so much. She's such a sweetheart. But anyway, okie dokie. So, there's going to be some controversy about this, but I do like to weigh myself. I told y'all the last time I had ended up weighing myself every two weeks, and I would be like, oh, you got another week before you got to weigh in so you can play around with the... No. So every Friday morning, I will do it again tomorrow. You guys will see this tomorrow, but um, I will weigh myself and I will go ahead and plug in my numbers. Yep. So this does water, of course, weight, body fat, and BMI. And I love it. And it stores what you had the last time. And like I said, the last time I had lost five pounds when I got on there last Friday. And Lord, you would have thought Jesus was returning. I was so happy. Because I had, you know, it was a pound here and a pound there. And I was just like, oh. 
And I, don't get me wrong, y'all. I want to lose it slow so it doesn't come back on. But every blue every blue moon, you need that little extra five, extra seven, you know, just to give you a little oomph to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to share a couple of more things with you guys that hopefully will help you. This right here, y'all, is I can't believe it's not butter. Now, I love toast, you know, sometimes with my meals, with my eggs and stuff. And so, but I was, you know, doing the butter and that's a lot of calories. So I used, started using this again. It gives me the flavor of the butter, but without the calories. So this right here, I'm loving it. There you go. All right. This little bottle I love to death, y'all. I have extra olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in here. And with the sprays, it's not so, you know, you can get what you need to do in the pan. I have nonstick pans, so I can't spray like the Pam and stuff in there. But I can put that in there. Um, I can put this in there and so it can have a little bit of a coating and with the sprays you don't use so much so I love this got this from Amazon this is my find and it is really really need to go back in the refrigerator but this is my find this is asparagus and this right here is from Walmart it's like two dollars and some change no more than three dollars but you would keep straws in here well I figured out, I couldn't figure out why my asparagus kept going like, like really, 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 um, bad, really quick. But I love asparagus. I only started liking asparagus in the last year and a half or so, but I love asparagus and so do my kids. So I figured out that I could use this. I'm going to open it up. So y'all see how that is? The straws would normally come out there and they look just like the, the asparagus would. That's how they would be sitting. But this right here keeps this asparagus very, very fresh. Okay. Um, I got this asparagus almost two weeks ago. And it's still good. Still good. It's not, and I only filled it up halfway. Um, I don't um, put anything else in there except from water. I did cut off the bottoms um, because I don't use that part anyway. I stuck them down in here. It was completely full. We've been eating it. But I just wanted to show y'all this, you know, this was a good repurpose. And it kept, I mean, they're crunchy. They still have that snap to them. You know, where they're not, you know how they get really limpy and wimpy and ugh, it's nasty at that point. But these right here, hot dog, that's one of the best things I've done. All right, so... Sometimes I drink a lot of water, y'all, like a, a lot of water. Maybe not as much as others, but I do drink more than most. But, you know, with my dinner and sometimes with my lunch or my break fast, I like to have a little something, something. So I started drinking, um, and I've been drinking this for years, it's Crystal Light. And this is the Peach Mango Green Tea. Everything, y'all, it has five calories and everything else, well, two carbs, sorry, and everything else is zeroed out. Everything, okay? So it comes in a packet like this. And you put it in two quarts of water and then you just drink it. It's just tea. And so um, it's got that little extra flavor to it, but it's green tea, which is good for you. So this is a good alternative for you if um, you want something a little different than just water. And let me make sure no sugar or anything. Zero sugar. All right. All right, guys. The lighting is changing because it's gotten dark outside, but we're going to keep moving. So I wanted to share with you guys some apps that I use and also um, some YouTube channels that I use as far as exercise is concerned. So one of them is one that you guys probably already know is my fitness pal. I do love that. Um, I also use um, Samsung Health and I use my Galaxy 2 um, Active 2 to sync with my fitness pal as far as like my exercise and things of that nature and my steps and different things of that nature. So that helps a lot. 
um but i use both of those and i also use another app called body metrics okay so with body metrics it does your weight um it does your um body fat and then my measurements so i only take my measurements at the first of the month to kind of see where they you know have gone so i just use a regular you know um fabric measuring tape and then take my body measurements now some of the videos that i use and i love um one is body groove i love body groove i love um leslie sansong i've been using her for years but now she's on youtube so i can you know stop buying her videos and just support her on youtube um i use uh, fit by Ashley fit body by Ashley got that one from crystal on CNC TV and the other one is I'm gonna have to look at it because I had to write it down it is called dance fitness with Jessica now all of these all of these are dancing every single one of them and I love to dance my kids are joining in with me sometimes but if not guess what well except for um Leslie Sansong she's um you know she does the walking but everybody else is dancing so um I, I love to dance but i also love to walk but i'm gonna be honest y'all i don't always feel comfortable in walking outdoors because of just safety um i don't always feel like i fit in at the gym um and this has nothing to do with anybody else except for me i just don't necessarily feel comfortable so i can you know spread out my furniture and be able to walk or dance and so I usually try to do no more no less than a mile with Leslie and um, I have my playlist on YouTube for five minute workouts or less and I try to do between three and five excuse me three and four of those which gets me around you know 15 minutes or so I will gradually work up as I go but you know I'm, I'm starting and I'm trying to do it consistently now, why I'm doing it right now, more so than anything, is because I'm used to being out in the field. But since everybody is, you know, doing self-quarantine or, or whatever, we're not going out into the field just because of the fact that everything is going on. And so I was like, you're sitting in this chair all day long. You need to get up and move. So, it, you know, it catches it on my Active 2. It sends it over to um, my fitness pal and to, uh, you know, it's of course attached to my Samsung Health. And so it just works. So those are the things, guys, that I use on a daily basis. Guess what? I am not being sponsored by any of those, any of these people that I showed y'all or any of these things. But these are the things that I do enjoy. So I will list as many of them in the description box as I possibly can. I will do that because I hate when people tell me they're going to do that and then they don't and then I can't find what they're saying, talking about. So I will do my best to list it in the description box, okay? Um, I wanted to, you know, just say a shout out to everybody that has, um, you know, stayed with me and supported me. And so if you would like to continue to support the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Hopefully you see something that you can use today. Um, I love you to the moon and back as always, butterflies, and until next time.